Hiya, good fishing people. Welcome back to Fishing with Seth and Maine Sport Outfitters. We're here with our friend Andy Skrvonich. Andy is new to Maine Sport Outfitters, but anything but new to fishing. He's a pro, he's a registered Maine guide. He's an old dog in the business and we're happy to have him aboard. He's gonna help us scrape up the bottom of the river and take a look at some of the bugs in the McGonough Cook so we can kind of make better fly choice or lure choice when we come down here to fish. And we're also just kind of taking stock of where we are on the McGonagook watershed. We're downstream from the lake in the town of Camden. So this is the spot that kind of connects a place where we've done a number of videos up on the lake and where we've done a few videos down in the bay or in the harbor for stripers. And it's also a great trout stream. So it makes sense to take a look at what lives in there with our little old handy dandy aquatic Saint net. All right, we also get to announce the winner of our first product giveaway, the McGee Landing Net, so stay tuned, much to come. reason for variety in the fly box. Everything has a place. Which one is a trout bug? Oh my gosh, they all have a place. So just on a quick first go, in not optimum circumstances, we've got quite a selection. So that bigger larva with the tails, free living caddis larva, that little tan one, probably a riffle beetle larva. And then we've got a couple of, looks like small stonefly nymphs, not mayflies, but two small stoneflies. Which is exactly why a copper john would be a great all-purpose fly to fish. It's got those split tails like a little stonefly. Helgramite patterns, I mean, that just gives the underpinnings for why woolly buggers, why golden retriever type flies. Excellent little sample. Let's take a look at another little stiltier spot down the way and see if we get a different grouping. As we've seen in just a small sample already, it's kind of a bug factory. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let's see if we get a different looking sample. What do we guess, giant crane fly? Leech. Nice one, Andy. That, again, more justification for the woolly bugger. Golden retriever, whatever your favorite version of the woolly bugger is. Honestly, a great activity for the whole family. Younger, sharper eyes will notice way more stuff and get everybody equipped with something so they can dig out their own bugs, but midge larva is is probably the biggest uh group in here that we're not even seeing and that's a big part of the trout's diet so you kind of want to tune into the most microscopic of the benthic macro invertebrates as a challenge to yourself well cool that is a dandy leech And a really nice example of the size you might choose for fishing in colder months. 
more like a number 10 or a number eight instead of a number six up to a number two, like in the warmer months when they're full grown. Good little sampling. Thanks as always, good fishing folk, for tuning in and sharing in these fishing ideas. Thanks to Andy for coming aboard. No problem. For scraping up the river, you know, doing the work, getting some bugs into the net. Speaking of which, these basic little kits obviously don't take much, don't take much, and don't fill up too much room in your uh, tackle bag. So something that makes uh, your fishing research and inquiry even that much more rewarding and meaningful. So when you tie on a fly or a lure you know you've got a good shot any time of year with what you learn. So we want to announce the winner of our first product giveaway. It's a good friend of the shop, Chris Bresnahan. So congratulations, Chris. You've got a McGee landing net. We hope to see you down at the shop when you get a chance to pick it up soon, but no rush. Stay tuned as ever, everybody. everybody. Much more from Andy to come on future episodes and in the shop on the deck of his bass boat. Check him out on Main Outdoor Guides mainoutdoorguides.com if you want to learn more too. Thanks everybody. Thanks Andy. Bye for now.